What are sexually transmitted diseases, or STDs? Let's dive into this important topic. Sexually transmitted diseases, sexually transmitted infections, STIs, or in a much older term, venereal diseases, are infections transmitted through sexual contact. The term STI is favored over STDs because it involves infections that are asymptomatic. Bacteria, viruses, and parasites are responsible for the development of STD infections. Common types include chlamydia, gonorrhea, syphilis, trichomoniasis, genital herpes, HIV or AIDS, HPV, and hepatitis. STDs are spread largely through sexual activity, which includes vaginal, anal, and oral intercourse. They can be spread through close contact with infected bodily fluids such as blood, semen, vaginal secretions, and even saliva. Some STDs can be transmitted through non-sexual contact, such as a non-sterilized needle, childbirth, breastfeeding, and blood transfusion. While STDs are often associated with young people, they can affect sexually active men and women of any age group. The presence of an STI in prepubescent children could imply sexual abuse. You may be wondering what the most frequent STD symptoms are. The signs and symptoms differ depending on the type of STD, but they may include unusual discharge, pain or burning during urination, frequent urination, genital sores, blisters around the mouth, itchy genitals or anus, a rash, swollen lymph nodes, painful intercourse, abdominal pain, and flu-like symptoms. However, not all STDs cause symptoms, and they may not present soon after infection. Therefore, it is possible for an asymptomatic person to pass on the disease unknowingly. STDs such as syphilis, gonorrhea, and HPV can cause symptoms in areas other than the sexual organs, including the eye, ear, throat, brain, and spine. That is why STD testing and treatment are so critical. STDs are diagnosed by physical examinations and laboratory tests. Healthcare providers may take blood, urine, or vaginal swabs to test for infections. Some STDs, such as HIV and syphilis, can be identified with routine blood tests. In Malaysia, you can get tested for STDs at government health clinics, such as those under the Ministry of Health Malaysia or private clinics. They will be able to advise you on the best course of action and provide you with a list of test providers or an STD clinic in your area. The cost of STD tests in Malaysia varies according to the type of test and location. You can get tested for as little as one ringgit at government clinics. However, private clinics might charge higher rates ranging from 100 ringgit to 400 ringgit depending on the number of tests ordered. Some of you may have privacy concerns if you undergo STD testing and treatment. Don't worry. In Malaysia, our healthcare providers are required by law to protect patient information. If you are concerned about your privacy, you can request an anonymous and voluntary HIV test, which is accessible at all government health centers. You are not required to give your personal information. When you take an anonymous test, you will only be asked about your age, race, gender, and risky habits. Best of all, you may find out your HIV status in 15 minutes with a rapid test kit. An anonymous STD test can also be performed at private clinics, and the results can be given directly to you by phone or email. Stigma and prejudice around STDs might discourage people from seeking testing and treatment. People may be concerned about social stigma, discrimination, or judgment from healthcare practitioners or society. This is why privacy and confidentiality are crucial in preventing stigma among people with the condition. Currently, four pathogens such as gonorrhea, chlamydia, trichomoniasis, and syphilis are curable with a single dosage or a course of antibiotics. However, viral infections such as HIV, hepatitis, HSV, and HPV are still incurable. Antiviral medication can help to slow the disease's progression, allowing you to live a longer and healthier life. If you receive a positive diagnosis, it is critical that your current and previous sexual partners be told and treated to limit the risk of spread and reinfection. It is also advisable that you begin and adhere to your treatment plan as soon as possible, as directed by your doctor. The most effective approaches to preventing sexually transmitted diseases are to practice safe intercourse using condoms, be vaccinated for HPV, and undergo frequent testing for people who exhibit high-risk behaviors.
If you and your partner have been sexually active in previous relationships, it is crucial to discuss both partners' health status. It may also be beneficial to seek behavioral counseling for sexually active teenagers and high-risk adults. Remember, early detection and treatment are key to managing STDs effectively. If you have concerns, consult a healthcare professional for confidential advice and support. For more information on STDs and testing locations in Malaysia, visit trusted healthcare providers, government health websites, or NGOs. Thank you for watching. Stay informed and stay healthy.